Guys, we've got a PSA GameStop marriage plus buying season. Sports card buying season is a coming. What's going on, sports card hobby family? It's another day. It's another sports card video. Yesterday, guys, I lost control of where the sun was. It got really overcast yesterday, kind of rainy overcast since we've been here in Mexico over the last few days. But yesterday, I was just like, man, I just don't, you know, it's not very sunny. The overcast, though, fooled me. We were out there all day, and I got smoked. I am feeling it today, but it's all good. It's all good. We're going to kind of recuperate a little bit today, and we'll be back at it. A lot of water volleyball, water basketball, and throwing the football with, with my kids. So it's been it's been a really fun trip, and it's just been a lot of a lot of that, which it's all, it's all the good family quality time stuff. I did, you know, I haven't done this since I was a kid. I was playing water basketball, so of course you're like running through the water. And of course, like trying to like move and maneuver, I cut the bottom of my toes on the concrete, so that's been fun. <laughs> to wake up to this morning, I was like, oh, that actually is pretty painful. All right, before we dive into PSA and GameStop and buying season, we've got our Friday shout outs actually coming on Saturday. I'm a day behind here on this one. Card capsule for all your supplies, cases, top loaders, all the goodness sleeve stuff. We have got a promo coming up next week that's going to be really sweet, just in time for Halloween week. So make sure that you keep an eye out for that. Waterproof cases, great quality supplies at affordable prices. Justcollect.com. Justcollect.com. You've got a collection that you want to sell, or you go onto their website, easy appraisal form. And don't forget to go to Just Collect YouTube channel as well. Leighton Sheldon sharing all of the different collections that he's finding out there. It's some really good stuff. All right, first let's tackle PSA and GameStop. So they're starting to roll this out, and this is something where PSA and GameStop have been starting to work together here over the last, what, like six months, nine months. There's been kind of this, this marriage with GameStop. I feel like for PSA, there's really nothing to lose on their end because they're just adding essentially 2,900, 3,000 stores. They're not all up and running yet as like PSA submitters in quotation marks. For PSA, there's really not much to lose here to where they have another outlet that is sending is going to be sending them cards and and whether it's five cards or five thousand cards it all is going to depend on gamestop and how much they really push it and how much traction it gets over time it also does bridge the gap between trading cards and gaming and there is crossover there there is a lot especially tcg there's a lot of gamers that are also into TCG cards, young people especially. We've talked about it. I mean, PSA grades almost as many TCG cards as they do sports cards. So while sports cards, of course, here and many other channels that you might watch, sports cards get all the fanfare as far as PSA and, oh man, you know, it's so popular between sports card collectors. But TCG, it's like half a million cards a month plus. It's a tremendous number of volume of TCG cards that PSA really started to pick up post-pandemic. So this seems like a natural marriage between GameStop and PSA. Will it take away from other submitters and that sort of a thing? I, I don't think that it really does because I think that, especially PSA group submitters, they already have their own relationships. A lot of them are operating locally, regionally. That It's going to be your, your local LCS you know, that you go to. Actually, cool story, too, that I did share um, with my $25 off coupon for PSA, SCD25, for first-time submitters. There was a guy that shared this with me on IG. I shared it on a YouTube community post, but he used the SCD25 for his first direct submission. So he always goes through his LCS to submit cards to PSA. He submitted, I think it was a 90 Fleer, 1990 Fleer Michael Jordan card, and he got a PSA 10 on it, and he used the SCD25 code for $25 off that first submission. So yeah, PSA, GameStop seems like a natural fit, and it seems like, a, like very little downside to PSA. For GameStop, it's definitely a transition of their business model. You know, they've gone from, you know, buying, selling, trading of video games to now trading cards being a much larger part of that overall equation. And what does that mean for their overall business? Will it be successful? More impactful on them than PSA as far as it needing to work because they are putting a lot of energy into this. So there will be discounted pricing going through GameStop and there's a, I think it's a guaranteed 45 day turnaround time is what they have in their promotions. I saw this on Sports Collectors Daily, sharing some of the details, so make sure to check out sportscollectorsdaily.com. All right, friends, it is that time of the year. We're coming up to the holiday season where it's going to be sports card buying season. It is every year, and of course, the reason being is just because you have a lot of people that are traveling, they're slowing down, they've got 
other priorities and you know sports cards is not necessarily going to be item number one on the priority list when you've got Halloween coming up, you've got Thanksgiving, you've got Christmas, Hanukkah, you know, you've got all these different holidays that are coming up. You're going to be traveling a lot of times. People are going to have to pay for that. Maybe you've got hotels, maybe you've got flights. There's just a lot of competing priorities around the holidays. And what I'll be really watching is, especially the larger auction houses, if you're looking at Fanatics Collect or Golden Auctions, REA's got a big auction coming up that we're going to talk about here soon too, the, the big November auction. You know, there's going to be a lot of stuff coming up for auction, as usual, a lot of really cool stuff. And will there be some nice buys in there? Of course, when we're talking about high end or stuff that's that's pretty scarce, pretty rare, you know, you're probably not getting a discount on a lot of that. But for collectors that are looking for fairly everyday cards, you should see a little bit of a decrease in that November, I would say November 20th through the end of the year. November 20th through the end of the year is really kind of a six week little spot there that is a nice that is a nice time to buy especially man if you're you know looking at over Thanksgiving or you're looking over that Christmas break there always does seem to be some really good some really good bargains deals that pop up during that time so that's something that I'm going to be looking for I don't have a lot of want items on my radar right now but I am going to see the some of the stuff that I'm watching does it does it come down a little bit? Are there people that are like, yeah, you know, I'm just want to get off of this thing? I think a lot of people too, kind of like New Year's resolutions, they shed off parts of their collection that maybe they are just not as interested in, and they're looking, hey, we're going to start the new year fresh, look at some new stuff as it comes out, and so kind of ending out the year, people will get rid of kind of maybe stale inventory in their collection, not maybe stale for you or I, but just something that for them they're like, eh, you know, like I like it, I don't love it. I'm going to go into the new year with some, some fresh dollars and see what we can come up with at that point. All right, friends, let me know what you think about PSA and GameStop. Does it affect you at all? Are you a GameStop buyer? Are you buying games and maybe you'll drop off cards at PSA? It did say there's no submission form, no PSA submission paperwork. I assume, though, there's a GameStop submission thing. I don't, I don't know how they're going to track it all. I assume that there's some sort of submission paperwork through GameStop. Um, but yeah, let me know. Are you going to take advantage there? And then also... Do you plan on making some buys over the holidays as we do always typically see some price drops around that time? Friends, stay healthy, stay awesome, don't get sunburnt like I did, not paying attention. Talk to you later.